Hey, baby. Welcome home. How was Antarctica? Good. Good. Now, come give your boyfriend a hug. Oh, God. You are so cold. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what else I was expecting, considering where you just came from, but isn't that suit of yours supposed to keep, from, keep you from getting cold? Like, isn't the special fabric supposed to be temperature resistant? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pretend like I understood any of that science mumble jumbo you just said and assume that it's just fancy superhero stuff that I wouldn't understand. You know, you were pretty cold. Maybe a nice warm kiss would help heat up those beautiful lips of yours. Come here. Hmm. Hmm. So that's what kissing an ice cube would feel like. I've always wondered. So, how did everything go? Well, obviously it went well, considering you're standing in front of me. But I want the details, you know. Who from the group was there? Did anyone get hurt? Who did you have to fight? Did you see any penguins? You know, the important questions. Wait, my- Mighty Man was there? Did you get his autograph like I asked? Sorry, good point. You, uh, you probably didn't have a pen and a paper at your side. That's fine. What was he like? Was he tall? I bet he was. He was? Wow. I I, I know you've met him before, but, like, I mean, you work with the guy. You're in a, a superhero group with him, but there's a difference between, like, working with him and, like, doing ops and, like, fighting, like, an actual supervillain with him. Speaking of, uh, who did you have to fight? Fire Demon? Oh, God. Are you okay? Did, are you, did anyone get hurt? I, I I know you're a superhero, but still, you're not immortal. None of us are. Who am I kidding? You're, you're practically a god compared to me. I know that you don't care that I'm non-powered, but I kind of do mind. People see you and, and, and the group and, and the work that you do with them, and, and they, they love you. They love it. They, the guys I work with, they talk about you. They, they, they gush about you. They say, she's so hot. Whoever she's dating is the luckiest guy in the world. And I can't even tell them that it's me. Because they would think I'm fucking crazy if I did that. I love you so much. I, I get to wake up every day knowing that my girlfriend is out there saving the world. And, and I love that. You, you can... Fly faster than a plane. You, you can be shot at and not even flinch. You've been to space. I, I know this is selfish, but I don't care. But sometimes I... Sometimes I wish you didn't have these powers because then I wouldn't have to worry that one day you'll be on an operation and some suit from the association will show up and tell me that you won't be coming back because... Dark Sage killed you, or something. Or you got trapped in another dimension for all eternity. I, I, I love you more than words, and, and, it, and if anything were to happen to you, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I, I, I know it wouldn't be my fault. But I would still feel responsible because I wasn't there to protect you. I, I can't do what you do I I can't fly if, if I get hit hard enough I'm out of commission I'm not powerful like you I'm not I'm not strong enough for you no I'm not yes I I know you love me but why you could have anyone in the world, and you chose me. I, I just don't feel like I'm worthy of being with you. With someone like you. I, I know we went over this before, when, when, when you first told me about this. That you, at first I thought you were messing with me. Then you picked me up and we flew out the window. It was one of the most terrifying moments of my life, but it was also one of the greatest. My girlfriend's a superhero? I, we flew, I was in your arms, and it felt amazing, but I, I couldn't help but think 
when is she going to decide that she wants someone that she doesn't have to carry? You brought us to the top of the Empire State Building where it was a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. And you told me that you wanted to be with me for the rest of your life. And that's why you told me about your powers, about who you really are. And I want that too. I want to live a life with you. I want a family with you. But you're a superhero who can fly into the car like it's a box of cereal. And I'm just boring old me. Another, just another face in the crowd. Unassuming, not bringing any attention to myself. Just some guy. What was that for? I mean, thank you, but what was that for? You don't care that I'm human. I I know, but... Alright, I'll... Sorry. I'll let you finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Alright, you, you don't want today to superhero... Why not? Because you want to date me. What? Because you love me. I love you too. I'm sorry about going off on you like that. It was uncalled for. I just, I love you so much. and I don't want anything to happen to you. I guess I feel like the best way for me to feel like you're safe is to shut myself away from the part of you that's so mortal. Because if something that, if something happened to you, I wouldn't see it as the superhero getting defeated. I see it as my girlfriend getting killed. And I would feel guilty. And that's not fair to you at all. And I apologize for that. I'll try to get better with that. I, I promise. We, we had to work through these things. And I will. We will. I love you so much, super babe. Okay. Hopefully we can continue this later. Because I, I want to. I want to talk more about this later. But for now, I think I'd better relax. Especially because I've been missing you all day. Now, I think it's time you get out of that super suit and into something more comfortable. I'll order a pizza and get the movie ready. Yeah, it's movie night. No, we're not watching that. Why? Be because it's my choice, remember? We agreed that if you are on an operation on a movie night, then I get to pick the movie. So tonight, we are watching this. Nope, no, 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 no. No complaining. If you don't want it to be my choice on op days, then you can fly all the way around the world over and over again and turn back time and change the terms we agreed to back then when we made them. But until you get the ability to do that, the movie we watch on op days will be my choice. Now, go get into something more comfortable, and when you're done, you're going to come snuggle up on the couch and cuddle the ever-loving hell out of me. And maybe after the movie, we can go take a bubble, a bubble bath together. I'm sure your body is aching to be in water that's not below freezing. Oh wait, I need two things uh, from you before you go upstairs. The first thing I need is, what do you want on your pizza? Okay, I will be making that two separate pizzas because of two reasons. One, I've seen how hungry you get when you're bent on up, and it's not pretty. Just kidding, just kidding, you're, you're always pretty. And two, I'm not going to run the risk of them putting that on my half of the pizza. You know, I'm so lucky I get to pick where we order from when, I, when we get pizza. Why do I make that decision? I'm surprised you don't remember. Remember when we had your parents over and we decided to try out this new pizza place that Sprinter gave a raving five-star review for? Yes, I am still on that. We ordered half sausage and pepperoni and half mushroom. I was digging pieces of mushroom out of the pizza all night long. Sprinter must not have taste buds because there is no way they didn't mess up his order. Either that or he also eats faster than the speed of light and didn't have time to taste it. We ordered from there twice, and on two different occasions, and both times they messed it up. Okay, anyway, I'll... 
this is going to stress me out too much if we keep talking about it. I'll put in the order, and you go get comfy. Oh, and can you check to make sure we still have that nice bubble bath? Thanks. Wait, I, I almost forgot the second thing. Well, I need you to come here. Why? Because I do. Closer. Closer. Even closer than that. That's better. This is the second thing I needed from you. I love you so much, Super Babe. <laughs>